Hi, I'm Bill Paoni from Boeing Company. Um, I'm showing you today the Boeing Common Image Generator, which is running on the Landscape CRVS system here at ITSIC. And on uh, uh, our system, we're going to talk about uh, how the system actually just initialized and when it uh, paged in the, the uh, elevation data, the imagery, and all the culture behind it. So uh, it's now just paged in the imagery and, and elevation it paged in our extruded buildings, which are which is a very dense uh, urban uh, area of quick way of rendering uh, 3D buildings. It paged in the street layer, so we're rendering the uh, streets over the top of the imagery to remove the artifacts of uh, of what you see in from uh, satellite imagery in the street rendering. And now the PLW models just came in, so these are the very accurate downtown. Uh, city urban um, photo, photo specific uh, 3D models of, of, of that area as well. So those layers along with the trees uh, comprise the database and, and the database now is initialized and ready for training in all, all times of day and all, times of all types of weather as well with this image generator. Common image generator is also delivered across uh, across the world with the, the different uh, um, products of the CRVS uh, product family line. And uh, we have uh, this in training in, in, uh, in a lot of countries, uh, as well as the United States, obviously. So here I'm, uh, Ill I'm flying low altitude, obviously, over the uh, accurate city models in Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, these models are generated from PLW Model Works, uh, and we integrated it in, into the system with Diamond with our Diamond Visionic software, um, these cities are obviously photo specific, and uh, you know they are accurate all the way through to the air conditioners and the tops of buildings or antennas and and those any small uh, items. So th this would uh, suffice for low level training such as helicopter operations and uh, those type of training environments. I'd mentioned before that uh, we do render the roads over the top of the imagery to remove artifacts uh, for low-level training. We also uh, generate buildings uh, another way. So as I turn to the right, you'll see um, these other types of buildings which are placed correctly and shaped correctly, but they are extruded automatically by the visual runtime software. and. Uh, the height obviously has to be uh, carefully, you know, selected for each building. But other than that, uh, you know, the the visual runtime software will extract that building and present it the way you see it here with the uh, shape, roofs, and etc. Are, are you able able to add vehicles, moving vehicles, to this uh, simulation as well? We can add. Uh, we can't add moving uh, vehicles that you see in the day. We can. We can add uh, night traffic, though, where so you see the the headlights and the 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 tail lights on on the roads. Okay. So the road data is actually from GIS source. So we use OpenStreetMap data, and we we just install that data, those files on the image generator, and that's how all these streets here are rendered, just from that source. So now if I go to night, you can see what happens here is that the buildings now are illuminated, the, the windows in the buildings, the streets are illuminated with rule sets for the light pools and the light points out at the distance um, based upon the type of street. So the major highways will, will have a specific uh, distance from one light to the next and a specific color. You know, we'll, we'll dither the color a little bit to make it a little bit more accurate. And so that's also automatic. So that, that is done just by a rule set, depending on the type of uh, road you're, you're gonna, you want to eliminate. So smaller roads you may elect not to eliminate at all. But it allows you to really create a better urban, dense uh, lighting model in your system. Very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, Chris Chinock here for Display Daily.